Okay, this afternoon we're going to demonstrate uh, uh, applying a, a dewormer to sheep. Uh, there are three major classes of dewormers that are labeled for sheep and all of them are, are labeled as an oral drench. Um, so we want to be giving our drench in an oral form. We want to use read and follow label instructions uh, to determine the dose that we would give this animal. They have a body weight category on the back. These are some Dorper ewes in, in good body condition. They weigh in that 130 pound range. So for this label, it's 132 pounds is 12 milliliters. So then we would set our gun to 12 milliliters by turning that dial. We put the drench in the backpack and then to get rid of the air, we're drawing that drench up. You can see it fills up halfway. You just keep going until it comes out the end, and then that is going to be a full dose for the ewes. Um, often we may have ewes and lambs. Say we had these same 130 pound ewes and 60 pound lambs. We may want to set it on six instead of 12. We would give the lambs one pump and we would give the ewes two pumps. All right. So demonstrating to, to drench a ewe, we're going to restrain the animal under the chin, control it. Uh, administer this into the deep into the side of the mouth and apply the drench on the back of the tongue so that the animal will swallow it. All right, often what we would do is crowd them up in a pen and go through them or we would drench sheep in a drenching race where we would get them almost single file or double file in a race and we would work from the outside. In this scenario, we're working in the pen with them. Often what people will use is a uh, marking chalk. So they would drench it. Someone who's helping with them would then chalk them on the head that they've been drenched and then just go through and do the whole pen until everybody's been, been chalked. In this scenario, with these, with these shorter sheep, I'm gonna go ahead and just step over it uh, to restrain it. Uh, I'm standing behind the shoulder so the sheep wants to go forward. Uh, in this instance, I'd like to go ahead and put it against the fence so that if it tries to back up as I put the drench in, I'm all the way against the fence. Apply it deep in the back of the mouth, administer it, hold it for a second, and then you'll hear the sheep swallow. Okay, if they start spitting it right there, you didn't get it in the right place and it came out. So it's only effective if we get it right in the back of the mouth. And so once that, that drug gets into the bloodstream, she, if she has internal parasites that are in her abomasum, but they're feeding on blood. So they've got a little, almost a needle looking uh, appendage on the end of their nose and they're feeding on blood. When they feed on that blood, this drench is in the blood. So they'll absorb that and it'll kill the uh, parasite at that point in time. We definitely wanna make sure that we give them the proper dose. If I gave her a half of a dose, she may not get enough dewormer in her bloodstream that that parasite only gets half of what it is to kill it. And then we might not get an effective kill rate. And those animals that survive uh, may be more likely to survive this treatment later in life. So we always wanna give the appropriate dose. And all that's based on weight. Um, this type of drench is fairly safe. So if we give you know, one and a half times what they need, it, it's, it's okay, as are the white drenches. But we do need to be careful with uh, Prohibit or Levamed. The active ingredient is Levamisol. That, that uh, dewormer is more sensitive, so we need to get as close to the recommended dose as we can because if we, if we miss it by a little bit and give them a little bit extra, it could be lethal to the animal. It's, it's important to be able to accurately predict their weight or to get weights on them if you, if you don't know. Uh, this is only one tool in a, in a sheep and goat herder's management of internal parasites. To me, I like to think it's, this is the tool that helps me when my other management practices fail. Uh, we want to employ good pasture management where we're not continuously grazing and they're always grazing the short grass where they pick up the parasites. We need to understand that the parasites hit the animals that are most susceptible to it, and that's ewes that are lactating or young and growing lambs or animals that are in low body condition score. So um, not, there's not any one ideal 
parasite management plan. All ranchers have to kind of devise what works for them. But we use this tool maybe for ewes that are, um, that are lactating. These particular ewes have just had some lambs weaned off of them not long ago. They were on uh, wheat pasture for a long period of time. They're carrying a very high load. We, we give this to them because they're going out to pasture that's of lower quality. We're trying to clean out the system before we're going to a, a newer pasture. And so um, that's why even though the ewes are in really good body condition score, we know they're carrying a, hair a high load of parasites because we were doing fecal egg count on these ewes before uh, we made this management switch.